It appears that Steve Harvey played a crucial role in changing the life of his current wife, Marjorie, for better. As the famous comedian and talk show host stated, they overcame her life challenges together, and she no longer has any connections to that ill influence of her past life. Well, amid the rumors of Marjorie's alleged dealing and drug using, this sounds quite a brave thing to admit, and however Marjorie doesn't want to stir her past, I guess this story is worth our time. Hi everyone and welcome back to Celeb Live Channel. I keep my eyes on the most discussed events in show business and always bring you the hottest updates. So we've all been worried about Steve Harvey's reaction to his wife Marjorie's past connections with two drug cartels, but it seems like Steve knew about that all along and even actively participated in saving the love of his love from this dangerous influence and alleged addiction. I'm going to delve into this story, so make sure to stay with me not to miss any detail. When Steve Harvey first met his wife Marjorie, he instantly realized that she was the woman of his dreams. And although the couple doesn't have any biological children, their union seems to be one of the strongest in show business. Steve has always been vocal about his love to Marjorie and even revealed how he saved from dangerous addictions and influence of her past. Well, as you may know, Harvey is very negative about all mind enhancers and he didn't want his wife to be a part of this mess as well. Despite his love to cigars, Steve repeatedly mentioned that he had never been high and only drank at the social events without getting drunk. But apparently, he cannot say the same about his current wife, Marjorie Harvey, who had been entangled with two kingpins and allegedly not only dealt herself in the past, but was using as well. The rumors may soon be confirmed by Marjorie's ex-spouse, Jim Townsend, who came forward with some serious allegations about her and promised the audience to release more details in his upcoming book, which may stain the perfect reputation of Steve and Marjorie. So this charming memoir will reveal all the dirty laundry that a sane person would keep under wraps and that doesn't bother Townsend a bit that he endangers his ex-wife image and reputation. Apparently, there will be a lot of juicy tidbits about Steve's involvement in this situation. And Jim is planning to see the rights to publish his story to the highest bidder. So is this all about money? Because I'm pretty sure that Steve has a lot of cash to make this book never make it to the shelves. But it seems like what Marjorie's ex seeks is justice and truth, and he doesn't even care what she thinks about this. Tell. All memoir. As Townsend said to the media, I'm pouring my heart out. No one knows what happened but me and Marjorie. Well, Marjorie's past is stained by some dark secrets. And if you didn't know, she even was under the investigation of the FBI and DA in the early 90s while she was married to Jim, a.k.a. drug lord of Memphis, Tennessee. There were no charges against her, and Marjorie has never been to jail. Expect for visiting her then. Husband, Jim Townsend, who, by the way, was sentenced to life in prison for attempting to buy a huge stash of illegal stuff. But the rumors about her direct involvement in this business, including sampling the product herself, have been circulating ever since, and seems like Steve knew about that all along and even helped her deal with the addictions. They say love is blind, but it seems like Steve Harvey's eyes were wide open all this time. And not only did he insist on Marjorie cutting all the ties with her past life, including all communication with her ex-spouse, he also made sure that her new habits were healthy and worthy, a status of a celebrity wife. But there's one trait that Marjorie's husbands, both current and ex, share. It's the desire to protect her at any cost. Well, Jim Townsend claims that he cut the deal with the authorities to leave his then wife out of jail because she was eight months pregnant back then. And Jim didn't really want his kids to be left without parents. In his exclusive interview with Radar Online, Jim stated that lawmen claimed to have substantial evidence against Marjorie and said she'd be arrested if he didn't play ball. Townsend revealed that Marjorie's freedom was a part of the deal and that's why he was sentenced to life in prison. While she could live like a free woman, there was Marjorie and my brother, Terry, and that was part of the plea bargain. We cut a deal that they wouldn't indict them. When asked if Marjorie actually had any involvement in the business, Jim promptly answered yes, they were involved, but I was the ringleader. There's no doubt that Steve didn't know about this, and that's why he did his best to save his woman from all other possible troubles with law. Many people believe that Jim's behavior is shameful, and he needs to move on, like Marjorie did. As one person wrote, this dude is trying to pass himself off as some hero, as if he served jail time for his wife. That is bees. He was a drug dealer who got his wife and brother involved and then got busted. Therefore, him going to jail was completely his fault. If he was not a drug dealer, his wife would not have been involved either. He was the cause. That was all his doing. He is not a hero. Well, it feels like Townsend now has some regrets about that decision because he actually spent 26 years behind the bars while his spouse was enjoying her life and even getting herself another man with a status and thick pocket. Steve and Marjorie married in 2007 when Jim has already spent more than a decade in jail, so I can't really wrap my mind about his bitterness. It's perfectly normal for people to move on from their past, 
And Marjorie confessed that embracing a new life with Steve was tough for her. I wonder if she meant any of her addictions by that because there have been many other challenges to overcome before Steve and Marjorie could state they were solid. And while all this drug mess seemed to be in the past, Townsend was released for the prison in 2017 because he was pardoned by ex-president Barack Obama. And this man found out that his ex no longer wants to be in contact with him. As Jim recalls, he was still in touch with Marjorie while he was in jail, but her relationship with Steve Harvey turned her into another woman. Apparently, Steve was convinced that being around Jim was triggering Marjorie's past addictions and inclinations, and the man was serious about helping her to get rid of everything that was ruining her life. Well, Jim didn't take the news of Marjorie's betrayal well, and he decided to expose his ex-wife's shenanigans in his book without even caring about her reaction. As Townsend said in his interview, I have no allegiance to Marjorie. She showed her hand. I'm going to tell my story. It don't matter if she knows about it. But there were no further details, which left me wonder, is there anything worthy in this book? Which is, by the way, priced at almost $30 on Amazon. So Jim Townsend certainly knows how to keep intrigue going and whether he is directly asked to share anything about Marjorie's shady past, he becomes evasive and tells evasive and tells everyone to wait for the book to be released. Some people even say that he is trying too much to keep the intrigue and probably the memoir is not worth our attention at all. However, it already created a huge buzz among people and the headlines exploded with allegations of how this book could impact Marjorie's image as a sweet and classy lady. There were even rumors that Steve already paid Marjorie's ex and attempted to stop the book from being published. Apparently, the truth may be harmful for the entire Harvey family and Steve's wife in general. It's very noble of the comedian to protect his woman at all costs, and I guess there's nothing he wouldn't do for her. Well, Jim knows it too, but he thinks that it's not only help, but another kind of influence because Marjorie's current marriage changed her a lot. As Jim said, Marjorie basically became another person when she became officially involved with Steve. And the most bitter part for this man was the fact that his ex-wife suddenly changed her phone number and he had no chance of reaching her anymore. According to Townsend, Steve made her sever all ties with the people from the past, if she really wanted to leave this mess behind. Jim accused the talk show host of forcing Marjorie to choose between her new life and the mistakes of her past, and that's why she had to change her phone number and stop all contacts with her ex. As Townsend explained to the media, all those years I could call her night or day and she was always there for me. But when she met him, that phone was cut off the next day. Well, if such measures were necessary to stop Marjorie from saving her from that bad influence of convicted criminals and making the same mistakes again, it was probably worth it. And if Townsend feels betrayed by her and wants to punish his ex-wife for getting away with this mess, we can only wait for his book to be released. Probably it will shed some light on Marjorie's participation in this kind of business. But anyway, many fans are rooting for Steve and his current wife, despite her past actions, and wish them only the best things in life. As one person commented, great man. Thank you, Steve Harvey, for protecting your wife. There's very few men like you. And another person mentioned, old things have passed away. Her life is different. Well, Marjorie definitely seems to have moved on from her past. And whatever secrets she may hide, I bet that Steve knows them all. This couple is helping each other to, to, to through the hardest times. And probably, thanks to Steve, we see a better version of Marjorie free from anything illegal. And what do you reckon? Could Marjorie be back in business if it weren't to Steve? And does she regret her past life? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm eager to know what you're thinking. And in the meantime, check my other video about Marjorie Harvey's dark past and connection to the biggest drug cartels. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and I promise to be back very salon with a new portion of gossip about your favorite celebrities.